<laughs> Guys, are y'all half as excited as I am? Here we go. New day, new show. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm so excited you're here. I'm a voice coach and today I'm starting a brand new series. <laughs> oh, okay. So if you missed it, I just reacted to Black Friday, a Star Kid musical, and I finished it. We're done. I finished it this week, actually. I don't know when you're going to watch this, but I finished it. <laughs> I'm really excited to get started on... Drum roll, please. Brr. <laughs> the guy who didn't like musicals. So I made the mistake of starting with Black Friday first. So now I'm going to go back and watch the first one because I feel like I missed a ton of references from the guy who didn't like musicals. I didn't get a ton of references that happened in Black Friday. I could tell that I was missing things because the audience's reaction was sometimes a lot. And I was like, oh, I'm missing out on an inside joke here. And I just hate that. I hate that feeling. So I had to go back and we are going to start with the guy who didn't like musicals today. What do I know of this show? I know that um, it is the first of the Hatchet Build series. I know that it is kind of its own thing. They're not really tied in. All of these shows that is part of this Hatchet Field universe kind of stand on their own, but there's lots of like little hints. So it's I'm kind of hitting the refresh button, if you will, on my idea and concepts of what's going on, but kind of keeping it in the back burner and keeping it in my mind. And then what else do I know of this show? I know that Jeff Blim also uh, composed this show. The music is from Jeff Blim. And I know that this is about a guy who doesn't like musicals. <laughs> he doesn't like musicals, but like his nightmares are happening. And I think paranormal musical things start happening. Like everyone um, just erupts into song and dance around him, which is his worst nightmare, probably our like dreams. <laughs> Don't you wish that everyone would just burst out into song and dance just randomly all the time? No? Yes, I do. <laughs> Ooh, which side are you on? <laughs> okay, are you ready? Here we go. The guy who didn't like musicals, Team Star Kid. Ooh, same intro. Stories ever told Have a hero who must be bold They learn a sense of right and wrong And better learn the sense through song Musicals tell the impossible They evoke the philosophical yeah. So tonight we're gonna chronicle a story so astronomical The last remaining story to tell The guy who did like this Did like, 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 did not like, 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 stopping point. I don't want to because what a bop. Okay. So from Black Friday, I was like, cool. I get it. This is kind of exciting, but this, uh, it, I don't know. It's hitting differently y'all. If this is what you watched first before you watched Black Friday, I don't know because I watched Black Friday, I'm realizing the characters. I'm noticing that Jeff Flynn opened the show. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right here. I didn't mean to scare you. Are you scared? so sorry. <laughs> I get really aggressive with my hands sometimes, so I'm sorry if you hear that. But Jeff Blim opened the show. Happy fingers. <laughs> and I'm also noticing that Black Friday, I was like, okay, guys, uh, I know that they're sick, but they don't sound great here. Here, I can tell. They're, they're not sick. I, like, in comparison, I, guys, I've, I've spent the last half a year to a year with these voices from the same day, right? So now I can hear they're just so much more clear and so much more in place and they sound like they have more control of their voices. I'm also noticing some new faces, not new, new to me um, and new to y'all if y'all are watching these with me and have never seen them before. I see Mariah Rose Faith, 
who I know because she was in Mean Girls and she played Regina George. And I've also seen a lot of her singing and covers on YouTube. She's taken voice lessons from some of the vocal coaches on YouTube that I watch. So I recognize her and I'm excited to see her and to see her in a, like not just a standalone song, but in a whole show. Okay, so I think I see um, Jamie Lynn sounded great there. She sounded so great and controlled. I don't know if I recognize this guy in the wig. Joey Richter sounded amazing. Really great starts, really great vibes. I'm also noticing the choreography is kind of like zombie-ish. So interesting. That kind of like goes with like the horror, um, if you will, is, okay, so musical inspirations. This is also reminding me of Disney zombies. I Um, I'm, I'm also loving the simplicity of the stage. Isn't it amazing that they put on these amazing shows and really their stage, their stage is pretty simplistic. I mean, they used blocks last time in Black Friday, even though this, this predates Black Friday, just in my head, um, compare, you can't help but compare and contrast. So really great start. I'm super excited to see what comes from this. I really like the blocked lights. Really simple, although they're probably not cheap, honestly. My theater company has wanted to do this for a long time, but the lighting gets expensive, especially if they know that it's for like for the stage and stuff. And it's hard to justify buying it when you're going to have it up for like a weekend and then have to tear it down. And then anyway, okay, let's see what's next. Ah! In the tiny town of Hatchet Lived an awful prince named Paul. Spends his day surfing the web and not singing and dancing with us all. Should we kill him? Should we kill him? He pines after a cute little glory stuff. Isn't that worth a show stopping fiesta? Yeah. But for some damn reason, he won't join our singing season. What an ass. Who's that? Who is that? Who's that guy? I don't know if it's a wig or if it's actual hair. I, he reminds me of Damien from Smosh. Is this him? I think he's a really great singer. Is this the same guy? I'm intrigued. I don't think so. It's hard to see because he's not well lit. He has a great voice. Everyone's voice is sounding great here, including Corey Doris. Y'all, he's sounding good. I'm so excited to see them at their full potential. <laughs> that way you guys will stop yelling at me about them being sick. I know. <laughs> anyway, I'm so excited. Um, damn reason he won't join our singing season. What a that is not David. What a bitch. I don't know who what that is. <laughs> the guy who didn't like musicals. Didn't like, didn't like, didn't like, didn't like, like, um, didn't like, 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 didn't Jeff is on it. He's so excited about this show. You can tell he's excited about starting it. He likes this song. The guy who did language schools. <laughs> <He's laughs> They're having so much fun and I can't help but have fun with him. It's the end of the world, Paul. If you don't say, don't say. This is the bridge, Paul. This is the bridge. Where we globalize everything. The words will come to you. He's a really great theatrical performer. I, I think I'm so curious about this guy. I don't know who he is yet, okay? I know you're going to yell at me who he is in the comments. I'm excited for that moment. Um, I want to know more about him. I can tell. I wonder where, where he went, if he's still around, if he's done other Star Kids shows before. I can tell he's great. Like, he's very theatrical. Um, you could just tell. I, I, I already, like, first impressions without even knowing who he is, I like him. Um, I also really love that there's only seven people seemingly into this entire show. Every, we're going to get to highlight every single one of these people, and I'm excited for that moment. We swear we will teach you what it means to love, what it means to obey. The apotheosis is upon us. <laughs> Did you hear the word? What's the word? He's a coming. Who's a coming? Paul's a coming. Paul's a coming. The star of the show. Now for his headlining entrance. Time to swoon at his leading menaces. His name is in 
the title He's destined to go viral Here he is, his, his name, name is Paul Metronome <laughs> Where the fuck is he? <laughs> I have no fucking clue <laughs> The guy just doesn't like musicals <laughs> zone this is so hilarious okay so there's a character either one of them is paul which i think the reference is the kooky professor if i remember from comments from black friday comments i think that paul is the kooky professor and he's the guy who doesn't like musicals <laughs> Matty son, Madison, John Madison. <laughs> That's that name is so presidential. Is John Madison the kooky professor named Paul who doesn't like me's goals? What piece of shit? <laughs> it is him. It's him. Okay, I want to keep watching, and I'm going to keep watching, but. That was the song. That was a great opener. I think I said everything I need to say. Yes, I'm definitely rushing the conclusion of this video because I want to keep watching because I'm excited to see what happens next. What? I'm I'm so excited. Like I I'm excited for the Me School. Um, that was a really great song to kind of showcase the ensemble and the cast as a whole, except for Paul, who we just saw. But <laughs> Paul, who we just saw. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm jazzed up. Everyone's voices sound great. There's one guy, one actor that I don't know. But um, and then Mariah Rose Faith, who I do know, but I've never seen her in a full show. So I'm so excited to see that and see what they have uh, to come next. So now it's your turn. It's your turn to do some work. You got to like, you got to subscribe. And guys, a lot of y'all keep missing things. So make sure that notification bell is on so you don't miss the next one. Um, I plan to move a lot faster than I have with Black Friday. I'm ready to go. So buckle up. <laughs> hey, I'll sing with you soon. Bye. The guy who didn't like musicals, da la 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 la.